Question 22. Which statement is correct for longitudinal waves, but not correct for transverse wave? So if you look at these kind of questions, right, um, when it comes to statement, it's time to, uh, as uh, some people will say, get ready your brain or your concepts uh, and think about waves from the perspective of classifying them as longitudinal versus transverse. Okay, so forming stationary waves is both. Both can form standing waves because the condition for standing wave has nothing to do with the type of wave. They can only travel through medium. Okay, so longitudinal wave, this one can only travel through medium. So only through medium. Whereas transverse wave, you can think about light. Light can transverse, can travel through a vacuum. So light can pass through vacuum. So you can see the light from the sun. Okay, so you do not need a medium. Can it travel through a medium? Yes, if the medium is transparent. So can travel through vacuum. So think a little bit about the question here. It says that it is correct for longitudinal wave, but not correct for transverse wave. So think about the statement. No? Longitudinal wave can only travel through the medium. Yes. So if you are the type where all these is statements one are not something that you're used to, you can do longitudinal wave here, transverse wave here. They can form stationary wave. Both can form stationary wave. This statement is correct for both. So the answer is not this one. They can only travel through a medium. Yes, longitudinal wave, because this one is sound wave, can only travel through a medium. Transverse wave can travel through other things. So no, the word only. If I take away the word only, they can travel through a medium, then both longitudinal wave and transverse wave is correct. So this is, this is how you evaluate the statement, okay? They can transfer energy in the direction of travel. The answer is yes. Of course, they will transfer energy in the direction of travel. If let's say now I'm shouting at you from one end of the room, the energy of my sound wave, which is the vibration of air particles, will travel along the room, transferring energy to you. They consist of peak and troughs. Of course, both consist of peak and trough. So the answer here is B. Okay, correct for longitudinal wave, not correct for transverse wave. So evaluate the statement one by one. Uh, all wave can transfer energy in the direction of travel. The difference here is longitudinal wave particles are parallel. Transverse wave particles are perpendicular, but they both transfer energy. Okay, that is the definition of wave one. And that's it for this question 22.